All right, here's how we're gonna start the video. So I got everything in, done, ready to go. Um, the only thing is, I don't have the boot to put over this, but funny enough, this transmission without a boot or a silencer in between is quieter than the G56 was with the whole boot and everything. This thing's quiet as shit. So I just gotta drive it up and park it. And then we're gonna get the floor put back in. This is without a boot. It's pretty quiet. So everything on this thing is done, minus still the mirror, you know, you guys get the point. So this thing's pretty much done. Uh, so we're just gonna get the G56 loaded back up. Like I said, that's for sale. We're waiting on the new boot. We're gonna be sending the other cross member with it. And then that'll be it. So working on getting us a new shot box since uh, like all this stuff, that's mine, that's mine. This box over here, this thing here. So, I don't wanna spend a ton of money on it, but nice Husky box, but I didn't, want to, I didn't even wanna spend $1,000 on a box either, but I might have, be able to move over. That's on the ground now, that doesn't need to be. Might be able to use uh, this weekend, might be using this box here, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so transmission is loaded up and everything. I do gotta strap it down, but I'm gonna go put in the interior a while just to see how much quieter it'll be. I understand we have a little hole in there. Um, it will make a little bit of a difference, but hopefully it doesn't make too big of a difference right now, because the new one will be in. He doesn't know when it'll be in, which some of these places we do business with, I just don't understand their, their company logic. So we'll get that piece put in real quick. This is for the G56 floor. Um, other than the bolt patterns being different, I would have just given him mine. That's originally what I thought I was gonna do, but apparently they don't work the same. All right, so see you guys. See how I can stick my finger down through here and then there's a big tear. So if you can see, you can pretty much see the ground. So what I'll do is we'll throw the new Pete or that guy on and then we will have a good all good until the new stuff comes in. There we go. Like I said, we'll get that bolted down and go from there. All right, so I wanna make mention that while I'm putting this thing together, right? So there are a lot of guys, I guess he he had somebody before do this transmission, do the uh, G56 that was in it, right? So I know we fuck around a lot. Oh man, there's light. That light is screwy. So I know we screw around a lot on the channel and we do some crazy things here and there, but when we do customer stuff, we take it very seriously. Like the boot on this thing. I know it doesn't seem like much, but that boot was held in with three screws. So I went and got the proper screws and I put all, there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws that are supposed to be in this. There was only three holding it in. So right there, that's not screwed down the whole way. Then on this one, that screw was only in kind of sorta this one was in all the way and then this one had two screws in it there's actually two screw i wonder if you guys can see down in there uh, you can see like kind of there on the side there was two screw holes like right there and right there so somebody put the wrong well not the wrong bolts but they double stacked them so now this thing's like super solid and i just need to put in this piece right here and then boom the interior is back oh wait no it's not I gotta put this in and that's all that was left there's only one in there when I got it so now there's two right, we're gonna put it at the proper angle that goes that way there we go so now the entire interior is back together exactly the way it's supposed to be there might be a piece back there i don't have one to replace it with but if we fire this thing up now like these are the screws that they take so i was able to get all that but if i start it now that is in there's no noise there's no noise at all coming from underneath of here. So I also, this boot was, um, there was a piece underneath of it. These are supposed to clip in and unfortunately it was broken. So you were able to just pull this whole boot up. Now, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, 
six. Nope. Oh, reverse is up there now. So, here you go. So all that's back together. Hey, right, just for shits and giggles, I want to drive this thing real quick. Before we go to actually go get the steps, I want to drive it, make sure everything's all right. hear the transmission anymore you hear the engine I can hear that turbo over there I don't have to I mean it's way quieter than it was before like almost dead silent transmission so basically what I want to do is I want to drive it down the road here get it up to speed a little bit and then go back and make sure we don't have any transmission leaks because what ends up happening is when you put the top hats on these things, there's no gasket, you gotta RTV it. So you always wanna check and make sure. I've only ever had, in the long time that I'm dealing with the NV5600, five years, um, I've only ever had one time where I screwed up. And I think that was because I put the plate upside down. That was like three years ago or some shit. So I'm just driving this down the road. I'm gonna go make a quick U-turn and then drive it back up, just to make sure we're not leaking fluid. Because if we are, this is all it really takes. Little spot. This transmission shifts like butter. Butter. All right, let's see. Any leaks? If the NV5600 leaks at the top, you'll notice it right away. Also, this insulation sucks. It keeps falling down. But... Doesn't look like it. This thing was dirty the entire time, so... I don't think it's leaking. It's hard to tell if that was there before. I'll have to go back and look at the footage, but. All right, we're driving it around uh, to make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. And like I said, I gotta go get the steps too with this truck. So, I got my tools down there, but this thing is so much quieter. No noise change when I push the clutch in. Um, it, you know, it, it makes a little bit of noise when you're driving it around, which is to be expected because it is a beefy transmission, whether it's an NV or a G56, they're all going to make a little bit of noise, but that G56 was making an ungodly noise. And then I'd, I'd do this, let the clutch out, and then you'll sit here and it'll go, <sighs> brutal. So a bunch of you guys asked me about the side steps on this truck. Now, unfortunately, I was not planning on getting rid of them because I feel like I know what truck I'm getting next. But this guy said, hey, uh, those side steps, let's throw them on my truck. And I was like, all right, whatever. So I wasn't going to sell them. He's already here for them. So I'm going to get them installed and we'll go from there. This is all that's installed or in the back of the truck now. tow truck guy got that thing perfect um this tea case needs to go at some point like seriously needs to go somebody buy this damn transfer case it's a good case uh but besides that everything else is getting scrapped all the doors the hood the, like this whole truck is like there's a big dent right here can't unfortunately we can't do a video on this thing until the engine's pulled and anthony comes and picks up his stuff i think uh yeah the dash dash he's got to pick up and the turbo he's got to pick up oh and the mega flares so i have nowhere else to store them but yeah like i said that should be two bolts underneath quick slap them back up underneath here i think it's a 19 or an eight no i think it's an 18 so we'll grab those quick and we'll go from there all right so i brought my impact out to come and get this these things off and the impact is not getting them so they are rusted so i'm gonna have to go and i think i'm gonna have to grab a new battery but 
This 19 here is not coming off. I should have been a little bit more prepared, but I was not. All right, sorry about the lighting. It is pretty screwed up with the door open for some reason, but just got it back, checked for all leaks. We did find another oil leak, and it is unfortunate the way that this oil leak came to be. And I'll get to that in a minute. But guys were asking me why we didn't just go and buy a brand new clutch. So this transmission, he has all the paperwork for it. This transmission was rebuilt less than a thousand miles ago. Okay. So I'm going to get to this seal here in a minute. Okay. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But a trans has less than a thousand miles. The new clutch had less than a thousand miles. The rear main seal had less than a thousand miles. Everything transmission related had less than a thousand miles. So... This transmission is very, very noisy. It was just freshly rebuilt. So again, it is for sale, 3,200 bucks. And then the other setup, the NV5600 four wheel drive setup, that whole thing, 3,200 bucks as well. But these come with everything, like the drive shafts, there's the drive shaft, there's clutches, all that stuff. It, it comes with pretty much everything. So it's a complete swap. But we have an oil leak and I'm not charging to fix this one because I don't know what happened. But judging by where the leak is coming from, we're getting a drip that's coming right down on the side. And I initially thought that me overflowing the valve cover, because I had to dump all three gallons of oil back in the valve cover. So it looked like, I'll show you guys under here. I thought it was that guy there. So I pulled that out to see if it was that, and it's not. So you guys see that nice little drip right there? Well. I can tell you now the only thing that leaks on that side of the motor is this cam seal right here this is the only thing that leaks and it's literally leaking like down and into here and underneath so that tells me that the cam seal is bad and that sucks these things are hard to find um, they're hard to get locally for me so i'm gonna go ahead pull that out remedy it hopefully it's not as bad this time i'm not charging the customer for this because i don't know if this is a parts failure if it's my fault um if a seal ripped or whatever so i'm not this is just going to be a good faith um warranty kind of repair just to get him you know get it going he doesn't need the truck actually if you guys are interested this truck is for sale i think i said that in the earlier part of it but he is i mean i'd make offers i don't know what he's asking for it but he might have it sold so we're going to try to get this slap back together um, it's got a tuner coming and a boost fuller coming and a new boot coming. So this truck needs to be in like perfect condition when we go to, when he goes to sell it and have the oil change and differential, like the diff fluid was changed, all that. So this needs a good bath back here. Um, the valve cover was pissing when I got this thing. So there you go. Um, everything I just did, I got to pull it all back out, but hopefully it's not as bad because I don't have to drop the transmission. I just have to pull the trans back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the cross member in place, pull the trans all the way back. And then, you know, I'll be using the trans jack this time, but I'll pull the trans all the way back. We'll use a jack on one side, make it easier. Um, pull the clutch, pull the, uh, the new adapter plate and then we'll get to going. So hopefully I can get it back together today. Um, I'm going to stay late, try to get it all taken care of. I need to put these side steps on too as well. So I just got those for them. So it's going to have nice wheel to wheel steps. All right. So all but 45 minutes later, trans is down. There's the clutch still dripping a little bit of oil. So like I said, I hate that I got to do this, but luckily it's not going to be an eight hour job because of the fact that like I can leave this on the trans jack. Like the hardest part of doing all this, I think is putting it on the trans jack. A lot of you guys ask me why I don't use the lift over there. And main reasoning is because like I'm just leasing the shop. So like I prefer to let him do his thing over there. But yeah, I'm going to get this clutch pulled. This thousand mile clutch and then drop that. And then we will pull off the adapter plate next. All right. Oh, we are almost there. I got it all out. It's been probably about an hour now. So this sucks. Um, hopefully I don't have to leave the underside of this truck for a while. Because I grabbed the 15 mil and the new seal and the RTV and a flashlight and an impact and all that bullshit. So like I said, everything looks all right. You can see up there where the old oil leak was. That valve cover was pretty bad. 
But right here's our cam seal right in there. So I'm gonna get this pulled and I'll show you guys what we're looking at. So I don't know if you guys, you guys will be able to see it better than I can. There's the leak. There's the seal. So I'll pop a new seal in the back of this thing. I really can't show you guys. There's not much room in here, but I'm going to pop a seal in there real quick. RTV it, let it dry. But as you guys can see on the block, it's running down the side there. And then, yeah, it's just, that's the story for you. All right, the after plate is up. Sorry if the angle's kind of throwing you guys off. New seal is in and through some, I always do this, the uh, ultra black, because when you don't, it uh, it can leak. So I don't want to do this again. Second time's the charm. So I don't know when I started, but I know I left the house after one o'clock and it's 4.13. Everything under the truck is physically done. All the bolt. Ah, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, all the bolts are back in except these four, the cross member bolts. I just need to tighten the nuts down. That's about it. And then here. So all about three hours to drop a transmission and put a transmission back in. Without, as long as I don't have to take it off the jack, that's what made that process so much easier. The other day, I, I man, I fought with that transmission the other day. Something fierce, but three hours you guys saw it all right here she is i got the uh the lift kit installed in the front so now it's tooted just like i know everybody likes it so i'm just kidding i have jack stance under it but we did get the uh the side steps installed they are pretty solid this whole thing needs pretty much cleaned up but oh there you go side steps installed the interior is all back together the only thing really left to do is just wire up the reverse lights on the mirrors and the little puddle lights down below uh, I think we're going to do that. I got to figure out where I want to wire all that stuff to. All right, lift kit has been deleted. It is now back to being a two-wheel drive truck. None of that bullshit, but it looks really good. I think the steps work. Uh, the chrome on the front and then down on the bottom, I think that works. And then everything up top is all blacked out. I mean, I like it. To each their own. Um, like I said, everything is done. And the truck is ready to go besides the mirrors, but... The truck is ready to go. We'll get it out of here. Um, here's the G56, and all that stuff's gonna go with it. So, at some point, if he uh, he has a tuner and stuff coming for it, but I don't know if he has someone who's ready to buy it. He said, um, if they are, then I guess we won't get to do the five-inch exhaust or the tuner. But for what it is, beautiful truck. But the thing does have 370, I think 370,000 miles. So, like I said, I'm going to let this thing sit, dry. You guys already saw me drive it. It drives, it's going to drive the same as it did before. I just needed to put a new seal back on the camshaft. And, maybe, you know, maybe clean that up. Need some tires and stuff. But other than that, this is a decent truck. Uh, but the more I drive it, the more I realize I really don't want a manual transmission. 377000 So, need to go back to my, need to go back to a two-wheel drive automatic. If I even buy a truck. So I'm going to close this video out here. Let me know. Do you guys want me to do um, some hotshot related videos on like the knowledge side? Because I've been getting a ton of questions um, about just should I join? How do I join? What do I do? This and that. And I really think that the market is screwed. Like I'm, I, I'm looking every day for trucks, but I don't think I'm going to buy anything that isn't. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy a dually. I really don't. I was The plan originally was a 2010 to 2012. God, the lighting in here sucks. The plan was to get a 2010 to 2012, either a mega cab dually or a crew cab long bed, but I really wanted a mega cab. But then the more and more I'm looking at these prices and the more and more I'm looking at the fuel prices just go up, it just doesn't seem worth it to me if the shop can keep making this money. So, whereas this truck, obviously he's gonna probably want a little bit more for this thing, but like trucks like this, it's like if I can get a cheap third gen again, a two wheel drive automatic, um, I don't care if it's a 5.9 or a 6.7, um, but I, I honestly right now I don't even really need a truck if I can just keep getting trucks in like this and keep working on them I appreciate you guys for making this possible for me, but I would you know, I'd like to keep doing this if I can Is there not? Oh, yeah, the other thing I could see this thing needing it definitely needs the little visors on the On there and maybe a front bug deflector on that but other than that or an 06 swap on the front end because I I like the 06 
front end. I don't like the 03 to 05 front end. Like, it's just, it. I couldn't do it. If I were to buy another third gen, it has to be an 06 to 09. So, but, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna cut the video here. Like I said, let me know if you guys wanna see some knowledge hotshot videos, like, um, should you get in, why you shouldn't get in, you know, all the other bullshit. But, go down in the description, check out, I made a rumble, so all my YouTube videos are now over on Rumble. I'm gonna try to move everything over to that, so as I upload YouTube videos, they will get moved over there. If I ever get banned on YouTube, my content is over there, and it's a fair, free platform that is not left-biased like YouTube, Google, Twitter. Well, now not now that Elon bought Twitter, but Facebook. Like, all these other social medias are so biased. Go check out Rumble. Go check out Mudflap down in the description if you guys want some cheap fuel. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Later.